It is exactly one month since we announced the confirmation of the first coronavirus case in Kenya. A lot has happened during this one month. We have seen closed schools, places of worship, restricted movements, and adopted new ways of conducting our affairs. Indeed, our economy has been adversely affected, business plans interrupted, jobs and livelihoods have been lost. This is now our new normal, unfortunately. However, we can turn around this situation within a short time if we strictly adhere to what we have said. Ladies and gentlemen, we have scaled up our preparedness in response to contain the disease. We have scaled up our personal protection equipment where we have spent millions of shillings, upwards of 140 million. We have tested over 8,000 samples from quarantined persons and their contacts. We have mobilized over 500 ventilators for critical care. We have manufactured and distributed millions of liters of sanitizers. We have sensitized over 100,000 health workers and community health volunteers. We have set up isolation and quarantine facilities. And towards this end, we have set up 1,664 isolation beds across the counties. We have developed and circulated COVID-19 protocols on pediatric response, community response to COVID-19, and barrier protocols, among other, and also set up and operationalized the Kenya COVID-19 Emergency Response Funds, set up by His Excellency, the President. In this regard, we are not working alone. We have been led from the top by the President himself. We have been working with a lot of other government agencies, county governments, private sector, and international organizations. I want to acknowledge also, as opposed to popular opinion, that we, the role that has been played by Parliament, we have had engagements with the two houses, with parliamentary leadership and committees of both houses. These engagements have contributed to the overall response and intervention measures. As late as last week, we had meetings with the health committees who provided input into way forward, who provided support for how they are going to work in Parliament to provide funding for the work that is still going on in our ministry. And therefore, we want to say that Parliament has been active in the work that we have been doing. And members of Parliament have uh, contributed to the work that is currently going on. Kenyans of goodwill have come out in large numbers to offer material and financial support to the vulnerable members of our society. We want to appreciate them and their generosity and, to, and appeal to others to do so. However, as we streamline the manner in which those contributions are made, it is important to work with the structures provided by the government so that we can avoid the kind of riot situations that we have seen in uh, some areas when uh, food support is taken to them. It is time indeed to lend a helping hand. We encourage benefactors at the county level, businesses, organizations, and individuals to liaise with the county leadership to ensure that their help is channeled in an organized manner. 
We would particularly like to stop and desist from making any support that means or that brings people, crowds of people together. Because at that point, instead of helping, you may very well be spreading the disease. So we would like this uh, support to be channeled properly and done in a very organized manner. Fellow Kenyans, we are aware that the barrier of a COVID-19 disease victim in Sierra County has raised some concerns. This is an issue that we are currently addressing together with the county government of Sierra in line with public health and sensitivity to the dead are concerned. However, I want to inform the country that moving forward, there will be challenges. I want to say in an honest a term as I can and be brutally honest that our cultural practices on how we dispose the bodies of our loved ones may not be practical in an extreme situation. I therefore want our people to be mentally prepared and to accept that COVID-19 victim bodies shall be disposed in a manner that protects the living from infections and in accordance with the Ministry of Health Barrio Protocols. In addition to that, I would like on a separate matter to send in an increased appeal to our employee, employers and to ask them to treat their employees in a humane manner. We have situations, for example, where employees have been sent home on unpaid leave. I appeal to the employers, even if you cannot be able to pay the full salaries that people earn, please consider supporting at least for minimum requirements of the household. Consider supporting your, your employees so that at least they can be able to put a meal on the table. I also appeal to those people, for instance, in fraternities that uh, hire people on a temporary basis. For example, the golfers who employ thousands of caddies. I implore you to think about the caddies even when they are at home. Consider, and I know some, uh, some people are already doing this, some golf clubs and other institutions are already doing this. But I implore you to kindly consider, once again, putting a little money in their pockets via WhatsApp, via, not via WhatsApp, via M-Pesa, and other avenues that you can, to put a little basic money, just for basic foods, you know, on their tables. Let me now report that in the last 24 hours, we have tested 674 samples. Out of these samples, 11 have tested positive for coronavirus disease. And so we have now passed the 200 mark. Our figure stands at 208 persons tested positive in our country. All the 11 are Kenyans. Four have a history of travel from the United Arab Emirates. Six are male, while five are female. 
aged between one year and 42 years. The spread of the cases with regard to the counties of residents is as follows. Mandela, four. Mombasa, three. Nairobi, two. Nakuru, one. And Machakos, one. Four of the cases have emanated from mandatory quarantine centers, while seven were picked by our surveillance teams. Over the same period, 14 more persons have been discharged from hospital after successful treatment. And one other positive case has also turned negative after a mandatory two tests. Cumulatively, therefore, we have 15 new recoveries in the last 24 hours, bringing the total figure of recoveries to 40. We have unfortunately also lost one more patient in Nairobi, bringing the number of deaths to nine. A total of 2,306 contacts have been monitored, out of which 1,687 have been discharged. 619 contacts are being followed at the moment. I thank you.